longer and faster than ever. Williams filed for divorce from her husband of 21 years last week amid speculation that he has been cheating on her with a woman who allegedly... to a whole new edition of Viral. I'm your host, as always, Kendra Deeks, here on Viral as we talk about daytime talk show host Wendy Williams finalizes her divorce from Kevin Hunt and gets herself relieved off the pressure. But first things first, joining the conversation using the hashtag Viral here where Wendy Williams gets a divorce from her husband, Kevin Hunter, of 21 years before Wendy Williams was experiencing issues such as denial, judgment, you know, her own health. Let's go to the story where how all this finally, where Wendy caught, finally called it quits. Watch this. I'm moving out of Sober House in just a few days, you know. It'll be Wendy on her own. Wendy Williams breaks her silence after filing for divorce from Kevin Hunter last week. The talk show host spoke out on her show Monday, reflecting on the motto behind her Hot Topic segment, their business is our business. It's so crazy because now my business is your business. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Turnabout's a fair game, I get it. Williams, who recently revealed she's living in a sober house, said she had a quote, really good weekend with six of her friends, two of whom are her sponsors. You know, I've been dealing with issues with addiction, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life that I plan for myself and my son. And <laughs> Believe me, you. When you lay in a room with no TV and four gray walls all day and no telephone at your all ready and you lay there and you think about your life, this is my life at the sober house. It's one of the best things, honestly, that could have ever happened to me. The 54 year old who has been open about her past addiction to cocaine said being candid about her struggles on the show has been important to her recovery. You wear a different mask when you're out here. You, everybody has including you, whether you're a secretary or a school teacher or whatever, everybody has things in their life that they are embarrassed to share with the world. And addressing my uh, sobriety, my addiction head on, has really helped me sort out every single compartment of my life. I have a commitment to me and my son to come out of here better, stronger, and faster than ever. Williams filed for divorce from her husband of 21 years last week amid speculation that he has been cheating on her with a woman who allegedly gave birth to his baby last month. Rumors of infidelity have plagued the couple for years, and while Wendy never confirmed the gossip, she did sort of address her marital woes on her show in March. I am still very much in love with my husband. You know, marriages have ebbs and flows. Marriages are not easy. Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere, not in this lifetime. Now a source close to Wendy tells ET, quote, Wendy is done. She should have been done a long time ago, but she tried to make it work. So that yeah, Wendy Williams um, was trying to hold on to her marriage and trying to keep everything going, but the relationship was crumbling before the start. When Wendy Williams um, took a sabbatical from her daytime talk show, for one month and she took another one for another month and she just couldn't find it, can't have it no more. She, the pressure get mounted on her. So, hey, you know, she had enough of keeping, you know, this going and um, she just kept trying to know her. But um, as you can see, the statistics right here of divorce in America shows, you know, divorce is a 50-50 rate. Sometimes you're gonna make it, sometimes you won't, but you know, it's a possibility. You know, I think when you look at it, if you're rich and famous, there's a lot of pressure on you. But when you're not rich and famous, there's so much not pressure on you. But then that too can be pressure from that side too, depending on your inner circle and people that you know that's rooting for your demise. So here's what Wendy said in her show subliminally in a cold language about her failing marriage. Watch this. Our business. 
It's been the motto of the Hot Topics Bureau since the show was invented during our six week sneak peek 11 years ago. And it's so crazy because now my business is your business. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Turnabout's a fair game, I get it. <laughs> my business is your business. I can tell you this, I had a really good weekend. I got together with my girls. Um, I told you I have my sober friends. I have six of them that are really good and one of, two of them are my sponsors. And um, they came over to Sober House this weekend and they had wrap sandwiches, but I had the leftover from Tao the night before. <laughs> Just saying. They like wrap sandwiches. I wanted leftover peanut butter noodles and, and, and um, steak and stuff. You know what I mean? It was only leftover for one. <laughs> the night before, I had like a three hour dinner at Tao with my sister. She's up from Miami, you know, talking and powwowing with me. Yeah, yeah, not, not all. It's always nice to spend time with your sister. They correct some of the things that you do wrong and they help you when you're not doing enough and they tell you how to do it. You know what I mean? I'm moving out of Sober House in just a few days, you know? It'll be Wendy on her own. I know, I know. Well, I have to tell you, I have to tell you, you, you know I've been dealing with issues with addiction, alcoholism, and I have a whole new life that I plan for myself and my son. And, Believe me, you, when you lay in a room with no TV and four gray walls all day and no telephone at your all ready and you lay there and you think about your life, this is my life at the sober house. It's one of the best things, honestly, that could have ever happened to me. Because, you know, when you think about your life, you think about, you know, how you've been delivering to the world, especially here on the show. You know, it's no secret, we're friends and sometimes you don't like me, but either way, thank you for watching every day. But, you know, um, you know, you wear a different mask when you're out here. You, everybody has, including you, whether you're a secretary or a school teacher or whatever, everybody has things in their life that they are embarrassed to share with the world or they're frightened to share with the world or they're not ready to share with the world. And addressing my uh, sobriety, my addiction head on has really helped me sort out every single compartment of my life. That's all. I have a commitment to me and my son to come out of here better, stronger, and faster than ever. And by the way, and by the way, and by the way, I will still commit, because you'll forget about my business any moment now. Um, and, then, and then I commit that the motto of this show will always be, their business is our business. That's right. That's right, Norman. That's right. All right, finally. People were happy for Wendy Williams to get rid of her husband and have a new leash on life. And they're glad of it because Wendy Williams had uh, her husband mistress, you know, posting photos of them. And then now she kind of looking at it like, you know what, I just need to get out while I can. So Wendy Williams has seen the light and we hope, we're glad that Wendy Williams want to move on and want to be single and ready to meet. All right. That's been viral for this week. I have been your host, Kendra Dick, saying so long, and we'll see you next time here on Vibe.